welcome to the new dashboards in DHIS2 version 2.29. In this video, we walk through how to create and edit a dashboard. Creating a dashboard. To create a new dashboard, click on the green plus button in the upper left corner of the dashboard bar. This puts you in dashboard create and edit mode. Add a title and description for the dashboard. We will add immunization as the title and national immunization dashboard as the description. Adding items to the dashboard. Now we will add some items to the dashboard. In the upper right of the dashboard area, start typing in search text to find relevant items to add. By typing in immunization, I have narrowed down the list of items to those that are most relevant to the new dashboard. Let's select a pivot table, chart, and map. You will notice that as the items are selected, they are added to the left side of the dashboard, with each new item appearing at the top left. We will rearrange the items later. Next, Let's add a text item for displaying custom text, a spacer item so we can fine tune the layout, an email item for viewing messages in DHIS2, a link to the Immunization Health Data Report resource item for adding some external links, and a report. Customizing layout. Let's customize the layout of this dashboard by moving and resizing the items. You can always add and change the content later. By clicking on the bottom right corner of any dashboard item, you can customize the size of the particular dashboard item. Next, we will add our custom text to the text item. the spacer item. One of the properties of the dashboard is that items will float upwards until they bump into an item above it or the top of the dashboard. But maybe you want some empty vertical space. To add such space, use the spacer item. It is visible while in edit mode, but not in view mode. You will see this as soon as the dashboard is saved. Saving and discarding. When you are satisfied with your dashboard design, you need to save it. Click on the Save Changes button in the upper left to save the dashboard. If you click Exit Without Saving, the new dashboard will be discarded. After saving the changes, you are returned to the View mode for the new dashboard. Editing an existing dashboard. In order to edit an existing dashboard, click on the Edit button to the right of the dashboard title. Let's edit the dashboard we just created. In Edit mode, you can add and resize items, and you can also remove items by clicking on the red rubbish bin. Translating. In addition, you can add translations for the dashboard name and description. To do this, click on the Translate button at the top of the dashboard. This will bring up the Translate dialog. Select the locale you wish to provide a translation for. We will choose French. Add the desired translations for name and descriptions and click Save. 
This will save the translations and close the dialog. Deleting. To delete a dashboard, click on the delete button. This will bring up a dialog asking you to confirm this action as it is not reversible. This is the end of the introduction to creating and editing dashboards. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to communicate any thoughts, questions, or concerns regarding dashboards to Scott, the DHIS2 Analytics Project Manager at scott at dhis2.org.